Hello, Diagnostics class. You know that I'm Dr. Henry Mozicki. Today we're going to learn about the deep tendon reflexes, but we're going to do it in a way that you're not really used to. Okay, in the absence of a reflex hammer, you can use your stethoscope to uh, solicit the responses. And the part of the stethoscope that you're going to use is the diaphragm. Okay, um, that's the part you're going to strike against the landmark of the tendon and get that response. Now, the first thing you need to know is how to hold it, right? Um, you need to hold it right tight against right where that shaft is of the, of the head of that stethoscope. Okay, so now you have control over that um, head. Because what happens if you if you hold it lower than that happens, you have no control and you can't get a response at all. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and um, try to do our reflexes. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the um, tricep reflex. So you're going to cradle the patient's arm, right? We're going to look for the groove right above the elbow, that olecranon, right in the middle of that groove. And you're going to take your reflex hammer, which is really your stethoscope, and then watch down here for the response that we get. And you're going to strike right in that groove. See? The reflex is not going to be abrupt. Okay, it's going to be a subtle check. There you go, and that's the tricep. Now when we're going to do the bicep, we're going to cradle the arm, right? Have the patient totally relax. You're going to go in the antecubital, and you're going to feel for that tendon, okay? It's a cord-like thing. You'll go right over it. Once you find it, you're going to strike your diaphragm of your stethoscope right on the nail of your thumb, and you're going to watch these fingers for any type of reaction. And she kind of jerks back a little bit for that. That's the biceps. Now the brachioradialis, you know that there's two methods you can do. One, you can just have the, have the patient um, take off their watch and just have them rest their uh, arm right on their lap. Uh, you're going to find that uh, distal radius, and you're going to go to finger breath above. Okay, so this is our landmark right here. And we're going to be looking again for these fingers. She might withdraw a little bit more, so um, that's my landmark. Do it again. You can see those fingers move a little bit. Um, the other way you can do it, um, is if we just um, tell the patient to relax, hold their thumb, okay, and we go to the same landmark, and we just look for those fingers to move. There you go. Okay, and there's a response. The next one we'll do, we'll progress down to the lower extremities and do the patellar reflex. For this, you want to have uh, some reinforcement for distraction, right? And that's on your uh, CPE. So you're going to have the patient um, hold their hands like this, and then I'm going to tell her to count to three. Once uh, we get to three, she's going to pull. That's going to distract her from uh, what I'm doing down here, and we'll get a better response. Okay, so I want you to hold your hands um, just like this, and I count to three. I want you to really pull real hard. Okay, so the patellar tendon is huge down here. It's about that big, and it goes actually from here to here. That's the whole length of that patellar tendon. Um, so we just feel for the, for the spongy part, and her leg will kick. Okay, ready? Pull when I count to three. Ready? One, two, three. That was a good one. We'll go one more time. Ready? One, two, and three. Perfect. All right. Now the, la the last one we're going to do 
is the Achilles tendon uh, reflex. So um, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you to see when we're straight on. Maybe when, when we're done, I'll have um, Ellen just turn just a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so a patient's totally, totally relaxed. You're not going to grab the foot because then you're not going to be able to solicit the response. What you're going to do is just gently and just real lightly just hold that forefoot on the bottom. Okay, and once you get the response, what this foot is going to do is push against you. So it's going to be a subtle movement. It's going to just push your hand away a little bit. Okay, but if you hold it tight or push real far up, you'll never get that response. So just hold it gently in the back. The, uh, the Achilles is, is, again, another huge tendon that goes up the back um, of the leg from the heel. Okay, one, two. Hey, we'll do it again. One, two. One more time. Perfect. Okay, so if we have Ellen just turn just a little bit, I can show you where the where the landmark is uh, for this. So again, we're gonna support the front of the foot, and this is this is where the Achilles is, right here. And you're gonna strike right in the middle, probably right about where that um, lateral malleolus is. Okay, you don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low. Okay, so kind of right in the middle, about right right here will, where we're going to strike. And um, that's all there is to it, uh, using your stethoscope as a reflex hammer. Um, and it, it doesn't matter if you go this way or this way. Um, I will give you one one clue for the tricep tendon, okay? Um, you don't want to go crossways. You'll get a better response if you go um, vertical to her arm, okay? You get it because you're going to strike right in that groove. If you're going to go the other way, you're going to strike across that groove. So you're going to get a better response this way. Um, so those are my little tidbits on using your stethoscope as a reflex hammer.